Hi and welcome to this video from Roblox Academy. In this video we'll be looking at when to use Vandal Dome cameras, um, the advantages and the, the, the downsides to using this camera. Um, they were probably a lot more popular than they are now, um, but uh, they still have their advantages in certain applications. So let's explore this camera. Now in this example, we have a Hikvision TVI style of camera, um, which you can see I have got placed here. Um, you can tell it's a TVI, known as HD TVI. It's got the analog connections, which is BNC and power. Um, now, this camera gets its name from the cover that it has, and as you can see, it's got a glass, well, it's not a glass, it's actually a polycarbonate, which is like a toughened plastic. Um, now, the, the, I would say the better Vandal Dome cameras will give you an IK rating, normally something like IK10, which um, is an international standard for testing on these polycarbonate covers. Now, the Vandal Dome camera is slightly different to, I would say, the more popular type of cameras you see these days, uh, which is the turret style, uh, which looks like this. Uh, what makes it different, what makes it different, sorry, is the lens. Now, you can see in this turret camera, the lens is actually separated from this seal here, which houses the infrareds. Um, they've almost, it almost looks like it's apart from the camera. Uh, back in the day with very focal uh, gimbal style cameras, this was known as dual ring technology, they used to call it, or split glass. It's where the infrared is separate from the lens. Uh, you're going to see why this is important later on, but you'll see you don't get this with the Vandal Dome. Because of its style of, uh, of manufacture, both the, the lens and infrared are behind this glass cover, and they are separated only by... A small piece of foam. Uh, now let, let's open this up and let's take a better look at what's going on behind this. So you can see here we've got two of the infrared LEDs which are the EXIR LEDs uh, which is a, a technology from Hikvision um, and the lens is just sitting there and you can see a, a piece of foam. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you guys. You can see the foam there um, which is what separates it, um, unlike the turret style, which is uh, it's engineered completely different. Um, let's close this back up. You can see where I'm alluding to, the problems that you're going to get with this camera, lies with the cover of the camera. Uh, what we found is uh, supplying to many installers over the years. Over time, you'll end up getting scuffs, on this uh, on this cover, rain, sleet, snow that settles down on it um, will then cause infrared reflection problems. Now I'm going to give you some examples of what this might look like, and some of you may have experienced it. All right, so here's the first example of the deteriorated night vision on the Vandal Dome camera and it's worthwhile noting um, that the night vision would have deteriorated over time so when this was first installed um, you wouldn't have seen this glare um, that would have happened over time as the polycarbonate cover on the dome camera got worse and worse I'm going to give you another example here and this is another example. We're going to come back to this one. So just just take note of this uh, this picture here, um, and we've called this the pillar camera, just for your reference. And we're going to come back to this towards the end and show you how we solved the problem without changing the style of camera. So we'll come back to this camera, but you can see that we have the same problem, um, and you can see on the top left hand corner the glare coming off from the light reflection. Um, and what's basically happening here is the infrared is hitting off the surfaces of the polycarbonate cover. And because there is no uh, splits 
lens and infrared uh, because it's all within beneath the polycarbonate cover um, and it's, that's all being secured by literally a piece of foam um, this is this is the issue um, you're gonna see with using Vandal Dome cameras at night especially when you're depending on the infrareds all right so we've looked at the problems with using a Vandal Dome camera outdoors due to the infrared um, we're going to jump on to solutions and we'll start off with applications. Now one environment where the Vandal Dome style camera is very useful is in commercial environments and retail applications and here's a short clip of a Vandal Dome being used in office space and one of the reasons it's useful is the camera lens generally can't be seen. Now it's important to note here this video is showing a camera which doesn't have a smoked cover it's just a normal cover but at a distance due to the light reflection um, you can't actually make out which way the camera lens is facing that's despite zooming in. Now why is this useful? Well imagine you had a shop um, and potential pocket thieves and, 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 and thefts that, that generally occur um, they generally look up and see what direction the camera is facing now that's made a lot more difficult with a Vandal Dome, especially when you place it in the middle of a room. You generally can't see what way the lens is facing. Uh, and that's one of the plus points of a Vandal Dome camera and might facilitate its use in those environments. Okay, so now we're going to have a look again at using Vandal Dome cameras outside. Um, and 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 really focusing on solutions now we're looking for solutions on how we can solve this uh, um, this 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 bad night vision problem uh, with this style of camera now the first question to ask is do we need to use vandal dome cameras and the answer is yes there are certain applications where um, you know you're fitting a camera lower down low level installations and vulnerable areas um, let's say a pillar fitted um, just outside an automated gate which is within reach um, for an application like that a Vandal Dome camera is really your best solution uh, even preferable to a turret and definitely preferable to a bullet style um, so let's look at some solutions now I've broken this down into two solutions the first one is a short-term solution now the obvious question is, and you might have seen lots of videos on YouTube about this, is can we just clean the cover? And the answer is yes, you can clean the cover. It's not guaranteed to give you a long-term solution, however. And if you are going to clean, I'd recommend Rain-X, um, which is a glass cleaner as well as a rain repellent. Um, it's quite popular and it use, it's being used by a lot of... Um, um, a motorcycle um, uh, riders um, especially on their helmets and that's because it repels rain um, even at high speed so for the Vandal Dome camera using Rain-X will not only clean the cover it adds a layer of their own um, you know their own technology built into the fluid that basically repels water so if it does rain rather than the rain drying up and leaving residue on the dome um, the camera or the Rain-X would have repelled the water so it doesn't sit and dry up. Um, a second solution, and this is for those who want to go into a bit more technicalities, and that is adjusting the foam uh, piece which sits between the lens and the, the polycarbonate cover. Um, now on some vinyl domes, you can actually remove this, so the process is, take it out, maybe clean it up and puff it up if you can, and then let it rest very gently, very loosely, just above the lens, so that when you close the polycarbonate cover, it's closing as it pushes the foam down. And what that does is it ensures a closer uh, grip. Um, a, 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 it's a bit close, the, the foam is now sitting closer to the edge of the glass than it was. Um, this also prevents what's known as IR bleed 
where the infrared um, essentially enters the vicinity of the lens. The infrared enters that area and causes um, yeah, what's known as IR bleed, and that is uh, um, it's quite a common problem with this camera. Now next we're going to look at some long-term solutions and there is one long-term solution for this camera and we're going to go back to an example we used earlier on which is if we just go to it which is here now this is a 6 megapixel IP camera um, as you can see the it's causing infrared problems there is some lighting around you can see the the lamps on the opposite gate as well as the gate it's fitted at but this is a problem the client was having and the solution to solving this is using low light imaging technology. So if I show you what the solution provided, there you go. Now it's worth noting that this camera is actually a lower resolution. It's a two megapixel as opposed to a six megapixel. But look at the, the picture difference. Um, if we do a little comparison, there we have a 6 megapixel versus a 2 megapixel IP. Um, and, you know, the second example wins hands down. Uh, and that's because it uses a low light uh, technology known as Dark Fighter, which is a Hick Vision propriety technology. But this feature is available in, in lots of different cameras from pretty much all manufacturers. Um, and it's called all sorts of thing, things. You'll have Starviz, Starlight low lights, night owl, you know, people will come up with names left, right and center, but the, the idea behind it is you don't depend on the infrareds for the night vision. The camera uses this low light imaging technology to process the camera better in dark lit areas. And there you have it. That's our solutions uh, to using Vandal Dome cameras. I hope you enjoy this video. If it was helpful, please leave some feedback. And if there are any uh, videos you would like to see from the Robux Academy, please leave us a message in the feedback so we can take it on board on our next video. Thank you very much and have a good day.